Okay. Some people had questions on this line covered still life, especially about like, why can't you outline it? Um, what does it mean? Why can't the lines go around the edges, whatever. So I just want to show you really quick using a sphere as our example, you are drawing in pencil. So my red marker here is going to be pencil. What I don't want to see is this, you guys covering any round object with super straight lines. Notice that this gives, sorry, that's the school bell. Notice that this gives me a really flat shape. It doesn't look like anything that could be three dimensional. So that's a no, we don't want that. What I want instead is you to curve your lines. Pretend the lines are painted on the ball. They would curve, right? They would wrap around. They would wrap around to the other side of the ball. We just can't see it. Um, so let me continue here with some of these lines. You're trying to curve as you imagine the shape itself curves. A lot of times kids tell me like, oh, it looks like the AT&T ball. Next thing we talked about is no outline. Don't take your black Sharpie and do this. In real life, real objects do not have a black outline around them. When you put a black outline around an object, it flattens it. It looks like a cartoon now, okay? By leaving this blank, by leaving an incomplete edge, as long as your lines are detailed enough and interesting, my mind automatically assumes that this black line is just disappearing. I can't see it, but it is wrapping around to the other side of the sphere. So it's an optical illusion that helps things still feel three-dimensional, which is why it's very important in this assignment that we don't outline. And this is going to take us into working with value. When we shade objects, we don't put an outline around them. So it's a very good habit, good practice. If you have questions about this, please come see me.